Hello everyone and welcome to the week 111 update for Icarus. In this week's update, we get a brand new item in tier 3, the Smoker, this thing here, and also 9 new craftable recipes. One of them you can do on the actual dry and rack itself, but you can also do them all on the Smoker as well. First of all, what you're going to have to do to unlock the Smoker is go to your tier 3, just type in Smoker in the lower right hand corner and it'll get highlighted yellow. You want to go ahead and unlock this and to actually craft this is you have to going to craft it on the machining bench and it's going to cost you 20 iron ingots, 10 copper ingots, 15 concrete mix, 20 steel screws and 50 charcoal. You only can place the Smoker outdoors and it's powered by charcoal only. So this is a good time to use all that charcoal you've been stocking up on. Let's take a look at the nine new recipes available in this week's update. The first one is the Melon Smoked Giant Steak. This will give you the Melon Smoked Giant Steak buff for 1200 seconds. Once consumed, you'll get plus 100 maximum health, plus 75 maximum stamina, plus 50% health regen, minus 25% food consumption, minus 25% oxygen consumption. And next up is the Coffee Smoked Fatty T-Bone. So this is a T-Bone with coffee bean and you'll get the buff coffee smoked fatty tea bone as well. This will last for 1200 seconds. It gives you plus 150 maximum health, plus 50% yield from butcher and animals, minus 25% food consumption, plus 20% health regen. Next up is the ghost smoked gamey meat. It is plus 100 maximum health, plus 75 maximum stamina, plus 25% melee damage, plus 20% health regeneration, minus 25% food consumption, and minus 25% water consumption. Next up is cocoa smoked soft meat this will last for 1200 seconds also it gives you plus 150 maximum stamina plus 25 percent stamina regeneration minus 40 percent food consumption that's really good plus 20 percent health regen and next is white jerky this is again 1200 seconds buff time plus 75 maximum health plus 75 maximum stamina plus 15 percent exposure resistance minus 25 percent food consumption plus 50 percent health regeneration taste smoked fresh water fillet again 1200 seconds buff time which is really good being very consistent here plus 75 maximum health plus 75 maximum stamina plus 25 percent stamina regeneration plus 50 percent health regen minus 25 percent food consumption that is a very very good one and keeping in line with the fish themed here this is again 1200 seconds it is the berry smoked salt water fillet this is actually a really easy one to make you get plus 75 maximum health plus 75 maximum stamina plus 25 percent stamina regeneration plus five percent exposure resistance minus 25 percent food consumption minus 25 percent water consumption for what you're getting there for the amount of resources is actually pretty good to be fair. Basic dried meat, this is also the item that you can do on the drying rack as well. So again, 1200 seconds and you'll get plus 75 maximum health, plus 20% health regen, minus 25% food consumption. And lastly, plain jerky. Again, 1200 seconds buff time. It will give you plus 150 maximum health, plus 60% health regeneration, minus 25% food consumption. So this is really good just for buffing your HP overall. Like I said, on the drying rack, you get your basic dried meat here also. So let's go ahead and look at the patch notes and see what the devs had to say for this week. Notable improvements. Backpacks are no longer automatically re-equipped when a piece of player equipment is damaged, added or removed. This fixes a bug where the medical backpack modifiers were reapplied every time the player took damage. Fixed a bug where the crop growth rate was added instead of being multiplied, resulting in growth rate of roughly double what was intended. The mission communicator no longer plays a noise when it reloads back in. No more weird buzzed noise when roaming around the map. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Running around in the swamp and, and like you, you exit in the water and all you hear is buzzed. Oh well, I'm glad to fix that. Fixed a few locations with the J6 of Olympus that had landscape seams, batteries and networks. We hear about these every week now. It definitely is getting closer by the sounds of it. Batteries and networks are getting closer and we're looking to launch a new testing branch in the next week that will allow people to test this new system out in all of its unbalanced glory. Just to make sure that it is clear to everyone, this will be an unbalanced test branch. Highly recommend you back up your saves then guys. 
um, because you don't want anything scrubbing up. Just make a copy of all your saves. So expect bugs, glitches and everything else as we iron these out. Your feedback on these along with how the system is to use will be increase increasingly helpful in its development. So it's sounding like maybe the end of next week or something, we will get an extra test branch to test out the batteries and network. So that's good. Okay, so next week we're getting beehives. So without looking at the text, I'm just looking at this image here. We are going to be getting tier one, maybe tier two and tier three variations of the beehives. So the devs do go on to say bees will spawn from nests present in caves and around the map in trees. Avoiding or killing the bees and raiding their hive can give you resources to craft your own beehives where you can extract honeycomb. Raise your own bees and craft a range of honey based recipes. That sounds cool. Bees will fight to protect their nests. You might want to have some protection for this adventure. Looking at this, these tree trunks here look like the way they're going to have the beehives. So, you know, the conifer biome and the riverlands is probably more likely. And so they did say it's going to be in caves as well. So it looks like it's going to be from these trees here though. Keep an eye out for them. But yeah, it does look like it's going to be three tiers of beehives, which is interesting. And that is the week 111 update for Icarus, everybody. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this. Are you looking forward to the bees? Are you looking forward to getting your hands on the batteries and networks? Let me know down in the comments. As always, make sure you hit that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel as well. There's a lot of people who aren't subscribed to the channel who do watch my content. So I do appreciate it if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As always, thank you very much to all my YouTube, Ko-Fi and Twitch monthly supporters. I'm very grateful for your support. Thank you very much.